Hi everybody and welcome back. As you can probably see, this is a bit of a different background for me and that's because I'm in France. In this video, I just thought I'd show you some bits that I picked up from the local supermarket and explain the breakfast and lunches that I'm going to be having over the next couple of days because I am going to be self-catered. So one of the first things that I picked up were these little fruit pots. So I actually picked up some apricot ones and some apple and prune ones before. The first time I picked them up, I did right and I bought the sans sucre ones, which means no added sugar. This time though, I saw the big letters saying sans and I thought it said no added sugar and it actually means no added flavour. So please learn from my mistake. So I also picked up some yoghurt. I actually went for the plain one and the fat free one today and I'm going to flavour it myself. Yoghurt makes the perfect healthy snack on the go um, and it tastes amazing with breakfast as well. Fantastic source of protein and calcium. I also picked up some honey which I thought would be really lovely to sweeten the yoghurt and would also taste really nice on some bread as a snack or in some tea just to give it some sweetness. So I picked up some bananas which make the perfect healthy snack on the go and also taste amazing with breakfast with a little bit of yoghurt or on top of some rye bread. I also picked up a melon which as you can see I've eaten the majority of. Melon is fantastic for keeping you hydrated because it's packed full of water and it makes the perfect healthy snack or breakfast option. So I also picked up some rye bread and this one actually has sunflower seeds in it as well. It tastes amazing and it's a fantastic source of fibre which helps us to feel fuller for longer. I then picked up some avocados which are a fantastic source of healthy fats. Avocados are perfect for a snack on their own or I actually had some mashed up on my rye bread for lunch today. Something that I always buy which is perfect for um, a lunch addition is some salad. I actually went for some lamb's lettuce just because I think it's more tasteful and interesting in comparison to the iceberg lettuce. A staple for me, I got some eggs. Um, boiled eggs make the perfect protein snack um, if you're packaged between meals. They're also great for breakfast or lunch as you can just whip up an omelette or you can make two ingredient pancakes and I'll link that recipe below. Another protein option, I got some chicken slices and actually got a couple of packets of these. I made sure that the meat in it was at least 80% meat and I looked at the back of the packet just so that I could see the meat and check that it wasn't too gristly. I actually had a couple of slices of these rolled up with some lamb's lettuce in as a snack and it also tastes amazing with the rye bread as a sandwich or in an omelette. So I've got two things to go in my omelette that I'm going to have. So I've got some cherry tomatoes, which taste amazing, and they also make a great addition if you're having a salad. And I also got some mushrooms. So if you follow me on social media, then you'll know that I'm a massive tea fan. In particular, I love green tea. So I picked up some mint green tea, which I think is really popular in France. It's what I've been drinking um, in the cafes. And I also got some mandarin, so orange green tea. And I don't think that they sell this in England, but if you've seen um, a green tea with mandarin orange, um, let me know. So just for some snacks, I picked up some nuts. So I got some pistachio nuts and also some cashew nuts. These are actually empty packets, so I've already eaten them, um, but they're packed full of healthy fats and also protein. So this should help to keep you feeling fuller for longer. Um, if you are interested in seeing a video on how to avoid holiday weight gain, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will sort that out for you. So I really hope that you found this video interesting. I would love to know in the comments down below what your go-to staples are when you're self-catering abroad. And I look forward to seeing you next week.